Good morning guys, same bat time, same bat channel, <laughs> and uh, I'm sitting here drinking some coffee. I am going to edit two videos, one of which will be short, and you'll see how I made this delicious beverage, and the other one will be yesterday's Vlogmas because I just needed to sleep, guys. Next year, if I do Vlogmas, we'll see what happens. I am definitely going to make my upload schedule for morning uploads. It just makes more sense because I work nights. So, I don't know. It didn't... I was thinking like, oh, I'll get it up the same day that it happens. But first off, I always get it up around midnight. Second, if I don't get it up around midnight it's because I worked until late. So I just didn't plan this very well, but you know, you live and you learn, but yeah, I'm still watching some Kitty Approved Beauty. Like I said, same bat time, same bat channel. I'm gonna go edit these videos and then I need to finish yesterday's laundry, put yesterday's laundry away, put the dishes away, and then I'm gonna start making those stockings so that we have something to put our Christmas presents in. So that took so much longer than I thought. That was just like a two minute video and I was editing for like two or three hours, crazy. So I'm taking a break before I edit the Vlogmas because I've got to get laundry done and I want to get it done before all of the people who work regular nine to fives have access to the laundry room. I just have one more load to go. Um, everything just didn't fit in the two loads from yesterday. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put my makeup brushes away because I washed those yesterday. Excuse the drying dishes and the pretzels, but yeah, so I pretty much, um, I mean, you've seen all this stuff, but in case you were wondering, I use EcoTools brushes because I don't think that I've mentioned that before. Also that sponge is EcoTool eco tools as well. I wash them in Castile soap. My favorites are peppermint and rose because I think that those smell the best with the when the brushes dry. I only had lavender which smells a little weird on the brushes. I don't know why it usually smells amazing on everything else but that's what I had and that's what I used. All right you guys so if this outfit doesn't say laundry day I don't know what does <laughs> um, but we're gonna make the stocking. I found this material at the thrift store. It was $3.99, not including my mom's military discount, and I think it was the color of the day, so that means it had either an additional 30 or 50% off, I think are my two colors for my thrift store back home. So I've got this guy, and it's not a sweater. I don't even know, like maybe it was a scarf. Who knows, but it's that sweatery material I was looking for, so happy about that. Oh, this is folded in half, which is what I need. I'm about to pull up the video that I'm copying this off of, um, which is why I'm probably not going to go into like huge detail, but I will post below the YouTuber. Her name is, well, her handle is farmhouseonboon.com. She is a mother of five, I think. I don't know, but she's very into, um, a natural lifestyle and handmade stuff and I was just really inspired by this video and <laughs> it's about time that I start making the stocking so I don't know that this is perfectly lined up but I think what I'm gonna do because this stocking actually folds over thanks mom for like everything in this video she <laughs> bought my buttons for me she bought the ribbons for me that are somewhere we'll get to that later um uh, she let me borrow her pins. Both of these are her threads. Like, she, well, actually, that might be my husband's thread because it's black and all of his work pants are back black. I don't know. Um, but she let me borrow, like, everything. So what I'm going to do, oh, you can't see. Sorry, guys. Is, all right, that's probably not going to work out so well. <laughs> so I'm going to line this up with the seam right here and freehand cut it and it's going to be better than what I'm trying to hold up right now. I was just trying to be like close to you guys but that didn't work out so well. Let me go look for these ribbons first. They were next to the Keurig because where else would you put buttons? <laughs> these little socks. And I are having an adventure but yeah so let's see if you guys can see a little better. Not really but you know what we're gonna try. All we can do is our best, guys.
ribbons. Let me get a little closer. Oof. So I have a red, I have a green and red and burlapy plaid, and then I have this burlapy one that's, I don't know if you can see that the little red dots are sparkly and then there's snow. I think that's the one, the sparkly snow one is the one that I am going to use for my stocking. So I will do that one first and then I'll like hold up to you what I'm going to do and then I'll cut to the end result for that step because I'm going to be hand sewing. So I don't have enough memory to just <laughs> willy nilly record myself hand sewing and then doing a fast forward because no amount of fast forward will make hand sewing any faster. So what I'm going to do is for the top part, well, yeah, no, I'm going to do this first. So um, I'm actually going to take it the opposite direction because these are going to be, these are inside out as current and I'm going to put the ribbon down a little bit on to the side. If I could just get, get the ribbon to cooperate. So you guys could see, there we go, maybe, kind of. No matter how I turn it, there we go. So this is kind of what it's going, where it's going to go. So I'm going to turn this off and go do that and I will show you guys the end result. All right, so here is this portion of the stocking and then what I'm going to do next is, well, what I also want to do is I want to use, let's just cut this little piece now while we have it. Is that going to be big enough? Might want to make a little bit of a bigger piece, just so that I know for sure. I'm going to use a piece of the same ribbon, and I'm going to sew on what the back would be on a diagonal right here, a little loop so that I have something to actually hook the stocking. But what I'm also going to do, what I was going to say first, is I'm going to put, I think I just have to put it against myself in order to be able to properly describe what I'm going to do. I'm going to put three, do I have enough buttons? Yeah, I have six buttons. So I'm going to put three buttons, one, two, three type of deal along the seam and then I'm going to sew the two back sides together, turn it inside out, and hopefully next time you see me there will be a decent looking stocking. Guys, I did it! The hardest part was actually the little hook, so let's turn it inside out and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. I, because I, I, I was just going to like keep sewing. I did that like I'm a machine and I'm not, but you have to kind of like fold this back so that it's still the straight line so that it's peeking out over here. Don't know if any of that made sense, but here it is. I'll probably, uh, once I figure out how to use my super old machine that's at my parents' house, go over this and reinforce it, but like I'm super happy about it. I haven't decided if, it's not happening this year, but I haven't decided if I want to do the like, you know, adding like a little top to it. I think if I did, I think it's too much tan and I think I would do a red one and then of course I would have to redo, redo this little guy. I think, maybe not, we figure it out, but it's so cute, I love it. And I'm going to, I think for Ian's, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a solid color or a plaid, but I think I'm gonna do the plaid one just because I think it'll be cute with a little green on the other side and Ian likes plaid, so staying on brand, I guess. So I'll show you what they all look like when they're hung up. I'm super excited. Here are our little stockings. I wish the lighting was better because they look a little greenish gray and it's definitely more of a tan to match the burlap. So, and then this is always hard to catch in the lighting just because it's shimmery, but it, maybe, okay, there we go, it says Merry Christmas, and then I thought the colors went well with it, which they do in person, and then here's what I think I'm going to do, I don't know if I'll end up doing it before this year's, or this Christmas year is over, but I think before I um, pack the stockings up, what I'm going to do is, uh, 
that right there so that it brings out more color and it also gives um, helps them from fraying because Ian's is already fraying a little bit at the top. Mine's doing okay, but super proud. I know they're pretty rustic, but I'm happy with them. They're so cute in our little corner of Christmas. Actually, what I want to do is get an extension cord so that the tree can stay there because first off, it's artificial, and second, they have yet to turn the heat on, so then I could have a whole little, like, baby wall of Christmas, but gotta move the tree back to where it's supposed to be. Dun, da, da, da. Guys, that took me about two hours. I would just like to remind everyone that people used to make garments bigger than anything we wear today, hand sewing. It took me two hours to make two stockings. Shout out to the people of, of yesteryear. So, guac has been demolished, and I think I'm gonna get a head start on editing, so I think this is gonna be goodbye, except I just wanted to tell you guys and then I'm gonna try this little guy. I found this at a co-op and I just kept it in the fridge and I forgot all about it, but it's the like chocolate hazelnut cup thing, you know, like a, like a Reese's, but it's got hazelnut and chocolate and it's sweetened completely with honey. So let's give it a try, shall we? So it's made in a city that's adjacent to Philadelphia and it's made in Doylestown. So it's super local. Love Superfoods is the brand. And let's see, raw honey sweetened, so not just regular honey, folks. Hazelnut, like I said, with dark chocolate. Let's see, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, non-GMO. Vegan, I guess, is a certification. Never heard of that before, because, like, you know, vegans can't, or cannot can't, but choose not to eat honey. But I guess there's this little guy at the end that says vegan. So that's interesting. Ingredients are raw US honey, cacao powder, powder <laughs> cacao butter, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, goji berries, hazelnut, hemp seeds, chia, coconut oil, and Himalayan sea salt. Let's try it. It's wrapped just like a peanut butter cup would be. This focus is getting on my nerves, y'all. I wish I could set this down somewhere. The camera, I mean. Here it is. It's not bad. It tastes like a Lara bar. Like if you get a Lara bar that has chocolate in it. I guess that's probably the um the goji berries are would taste similar to dates. Um yeah, so not quite the the decadent treat. I was I was expecting it to kind of taste like Justin's but more honey, so but it's good. No complaints, just just not exactly what I thought, but it is it's definitely tasty, so you know. Anyway, so thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you tomorrow.